Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video in which we will use the elimination method to solve simultaneous equations. So simultaneous means at the same time. The magic number here is two. We're gonna solve two equations at the same time. We have two bits of information from which we get two equations and solve for two variables. So let's look at this question here. Class contains 30 students, 75% of boys and 50% of girls have blue eyes. 70% of the class has blue eyes. We're going to find how many boys and how many girls are in the class. So we start off by defining two variables. Let x equal one of the things you want to find and y the other thing you want to find. Here I want to find number of boys, number of girls. So now we're going to get two equations from the two bits of information. The first information tells us the class has 30 students, so number of boys plus number of girls is 30. The second bit of information tells us that 75% of boys plus 50% of girls is 70% of the class, so 70% of 30 is 21. So we've got two equations and we want to solve them at the same time. You see, this equation here has infinitely many solutions. This equation here has infinitely many solutions. But there's one solution that solves both of these at the same time. One of the solutions to this equation also solves this equation. See, the problem is we have a equations that have one, two variables. We don't really know how to solve them. So our process here is to eliminate, that's what's called the elimination method, we get rid of one of the variables, so we have one equation and one variable. So which variable do you eliminate? Well, you eliminate the variable that has the same coefficient in both equations. Now, in this set of equations, neither variable has the same coefficient. So what we're going to do is multiply one or both of the equations so they do have the same coefficient. So if I multiply this bottom equation by 2 and leave the top one unchanged, I need to multiply everything by 2. So I multiply 0.75x by 2, 0. 0.5y by 2 and 21 by 2. Now, in this equation and this equation, the y's have the same coefficient. I can eliminate the y's by subtracting the bottom equation from the top. So x minus 1.5x gives me negative 0.5x. Y minus Y is zero. The Y is eliminated. That's why I did it. And I get 30 minus 42 is equal to negative 12. So solving this equation by dividing by negative 0.5, I get X equals 24. So I found out that there are 24 boys and there must be six girls. So then I'm done. All right, let's look at a slightly harder example. So let's try this question here. Certain two-digit number is four times the sum of its digits. If I add 27 to the number, the digits are reversed. What is the number? So this one's a bit difficult because it's not easy to see. We're not actually finding the number per se. We're finding each of its digits. So the first step is always to define your variables. So after defining my variables, I need to find two pieces of information from which I can get two equations. Now note that any two-digit number can be written as 10 times the first digit plus the second digit. Like 93 is 10 times 9 plus 3. 74 is 10 times 7 plus 4. So the two-digit number is equal to 4 times the sum of its digits. That's the first equation. The next equation tells me that if I take my two-digit number and add 27, the digits are reversed. So B will be in the tens column and A in the ones column. I'm now going to solve these two equations simultaneously. So let's make the equations a little easier to work with. So if I expand the brackets, I get 4a plus 4b, and if I subtract them, I get 6a minus 3b is equal to 0. And here, I want all the a's and b's on one side. I get 9a minus 9b equals negative 27. So once again, two equations with two unknowns, a and b. Each of these equations has infinitely many solutions. I'm going to find the solution that solves both of them at the same time. 
So I need either A or B to have the same coefficient. Since they don't, I need to multiply one or both equations. So if I multiply this top equation by 3 and the bottom equation by 2, then the A's will both have the same coefficient. So multiplying the top equation by 3, I need to multiply everything in the equation by 3. Similarly, for the second one, I multiply everything by 2. Now the a's has the same coefficient in both equations. So to get rid of the a's, I subtract. So 18a minus 18a is 0. That's why I did it, to get rid of the a's. Negative 9b, subtract negative 18b. I get positive 9b, 0 subtract negative 54 is positive 54. So I found out b is equal to 6. Now to find what a equals, very simply, I just substitute b equals 6 into any of these four equations will do. You should get a equals 3. So therefore, the number is 36, and you can check that 36 satisfies the two pieces of information in the question. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.